A modern application usually consists of many components. It has RESTful ABIs, many types of front-end clients, and some integrations with external ABIs, like payment gateways. The user can use a client to call the back-end ABIs. The way we authenticate the user depends on the client type. For a traditional multiple-page web app, we use a cookie-based authentication. For a single-page app and mobile clients, a token-based authentication is what we need. Another authentication way is used when an ABI calls another ABI. After successful authentication, the user can start interacting with the backend ABIs. The ABI verifies each user request to check if the user can access the requested resource or not. In other words, to see if the user is authorized or not. Authorization has different types. Role-based, claims-based, policy-based, resource-based. Modern applications also need to support some of, if not all, the main identity-related functionalities, like sign-up, email confirmation, phone number confirmation, reset password, change password, dual-factor authentication, login, logout, and user logout. As you can see, we have many functionalities that we need to learn how to implement. Luckily enough, we don't have to implement everything from scratch. We will not invent the wheel. That's why, in the next two lectures, we will learn more about the features of ASP.NET Core Identity and Identity Server 4 and how to leverage them together to implement authentication and authorization in our next project. Let's start with ASP.NET Core Identity.